The coolest new feature in iOS 9 is one that you can't even use if you have an older iPhone. But luckily we've got an iPhone 6S Plus here, so we'll be able to try out the new 3D Touch feature. We're going to show you how it works and the cool app shortcuts that you can do with it now and what it may be able to do in the future. 3D Touch is mostly available on Apple apps right now and it's widely used for shortcuts. So if you long press on one of the apps, you can see a couple different shortcut options. So for the camera, you have take a photo, so it would open the camera automatically, record slow-mo, record video, and take a selfie. The selfie one's good for when you're in a really quick fix and you need a selfie right away, so you just long press and go right into the camera. It's the same with the gallery app and other Apple apps that we have on here, so you see a couple different options there. We also have it to set an alarm with your clock or to make the stopwatch or a timer going. It's just a quicker, easier way to navigate through iOS and it's pretty interesting. It's a nice new feature that really changes the way you do things in iOS. We've never had this level of depth when it comes to navigating on the iPhone before. And it's all thanks to the Taptic Engine inside of this phone, which is the same thing that you would find inside of the Apple Watch, except it's a little bit more varied and it can understand pressure differently. In the new Notes app, you can also draw, and based on the pressure that you exert with your finger, the stroke will get darker as you go. It's a pretty nifty thing, so when you're doing things in drawing apps, you should be able to get variations in depth and the thickness of lines, which is pretty cool. There are also a few other features that come when you send links to people. So if you send someone an address in your messages, if you long press on it, it'll show you a preview of where it is on Apple Maps. That's a pretty nifty thing, and if you continue pressing through, it'll send you right to the Maps app, so you can just navigate from there and figure out where you need to go. It's just a quicker way to get from app to app that really changes how you can figure out where you need to go. It's the same with links to articles, so if you click on a link here, it's going to load the article and we'll see a nice preview of it. If we're interested, we just continue pressing and we go right into the article on Safari. And when you want to go back, there's a little back section up here that says back to messages and you can go right back to the message app. It's pretty nifty, makes things a little bit quicker and it may sound simple but it's actually kind of fun and it's something that will be expanding to other apps as time goes on and the developers start updating their apps for iOS 9 and specifically for the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus because those are the only two iPhones that this cool feature works on right now. That was just a quick peek at some of the things you can do with the new 3D Touch feature on the iPhone 6S Plus.